Hello, here is my winter 2023 to 2024 weather forecast. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So right here is my temperature weather forecast. Where as you can see in the northeast, you can expect slightly to moderately above average, uh, above average temperatures. And in the northwest, you can also expect above average temperatures. It will be slightly cooler in the south. Moving on to our precipitation weather forecast. Across much of the southern half of the United States of all some of the northeast, you can expect to be very rainy. Now this is especially true in California, the western United States, where there could be, across this whole region, severe weather, rain, possibly coming with heavy winds, and snow. And then in the Pacific Northwest, you can expect it to be very dry this winter. And then moving on to my severe weather prediction, across much of the southeast, it is going, there's going to be plenty of severe weather. I'm pretty confident saying Florida is under the gun for some significant severe weather in the month of February, most likely. Moving on to my overall weather forecast. In the green, in the southwest, you can expect it to be very wet. In the northwest, you can expect it to be dry and warm. Right next to that, there's a little bit of a beige region. Uh, it'll be very dry. And then the yellow, it's flip-flop where it's between different areas and it will be going back and forth throughout this winter. And then in the red and in the pinks, there will be plenty of severe weather this winter. I think that this is the area that could, in February, be getting early severe weather outbreaks and possibly in December as well. And then across the northeast, you can expect that it'll be very, very cool with what could be very big snowstorms at times. Let me explain. So as you can see here, storms will come from the Pacific, head across the, the southern United States, and then they will go either one of two ways. They could go north and head to the Ohio Valley, or they could go into the Atlantic before sliding up the northeast coast. Now here's another path that I think is possible. With the polar jet, I think that there could be some storms coming down from Canada and then sliding up the northeast coast. I also think that in this pink region there will be some ice storms, you'll remember that. This blue region, you'll remember that there will be significant snowstorms this year. And in this green region, you can expect that there will be significant rainstorms possibly being accompanied by extreme winds. Now this is because warm air from the Gulf will be coming up into the southern United States as storms track across that strengthening the storm. The storm might head into the Atlantic, in which case it can strengthen because of warm sea surface temperatures. In this peak region, this could bring significant severe weather. Now, you probably were wondering, but didn't you say it's gonna be dry and warm in some of the snow and ice storm areas? Yes. This is because I expect that there will be a Arctic blast, at least several Arctic blasts potentially this winter. I expect that a storm will probably accompany that, and there could be some very significant snowstorms coming out of that. Though the season will be generally dry and warm, that might not always be the case through this year. So here's a typical El Nino weather pattern. The Pacific jet is extended and goes from the Pacific into the southern United States and dips down and then goes out to sea. This carries a lot of the systems that cause nor'easters in the winter. There's warmer waters in the Pacific and cooler waters in the Atlantic. The polar jet comes down from Canada. Something that has never been recorded before has been recorded this year with a 101 degree sea surface temperature being recorded south of Florida. The extreme sea surface temperatures will play a drastic role in this winter. As you can see here, the El Nino is still very clearly visible. A strong El Nino would have warmer conditions in the northern United States and would be wetter across the board except for some of the Rockies and the Ohio Valley. Meanwhile, a weaker El Nino would be cooler in the eastern United States and, uh, and very, very dry across the board except for the northeast and northwest.
as you can see here, models are showing more of a moderate to strong El Nino for this winter. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and why not throw a comment down below.